So you've just downloaded that file from the internet, but how do you know if it's safe? How do you know that something hasn't been added to it that you don't want? Check sums are your answer. They're gonna keep you safe. Stay tuned to find out how. So when you're downloading things from the internet, it's important to make sure that you are keeping your computer and your data safe and that you know what you're downloading and it hasn't been modified either accidentally or maliciously. And that's where checksums come into play. Now remember, if you like this video, make sure you click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. So you might've noticed when you download files from the internet, many times they give you something known as the checksum or the hash value or the SHA value or MD5. Those are the checksums. Those are what are gonna allow you to verify that that file is indeed what you intended to download. Let me show you how it works. So here I'm on uh, Video Land Organization's webpage and they've got their VLC media player. And if you click download VLC, right in little teeny tiny print here, you'll see where it says display checksum. All right. And what they want you to do is download the file and then click here and it's going to display this number. This is the actual checksum. What this is, is the mathematical, the answer to a mathematical equation. We're going to take this file, run it through a hashing algorithm, generate this value, and then they're going to display that value. And what's really cool about hash algorithms is when you run that file through the algorithm, it always generates the exact same output. No matter how many times you run it through, it's always going to generate the same exact output unless something changes. If something in that file changes and you run it through the algorithm again, the value is going to be completely different. So this is how I can determine whether or not something has been modified or not. If I download the file and I generate my own checksum, and I compare it to the checksum that they've posted on the website. If those two values are the same, then I know nothing has been added to that file. Nothing has been modified. If those two values don't match, something is wrong with that file. Something has been added to it, maybe maliciously, that I don't want, and I'm going to try to find another source for that file. And it's all over the place, right? This was Video Land Organization. If I go over to Oracle Box, for example, Oracle, they've got their virtual box. They've got many different downloads I can do here. If I scroll down, I will find a little link that says, hey, you might want to compare the SHA-256 or the MD5 checksums to verify the integrity. They're recommending that you need to make sure that this file hasn't been modified. Now, they give you two different options there. What those are are hashing algorithms. I said there's a mathematical formula that we run the file through to generate this value. Well, there's many different mathematical formulas I can use. We just have to agree on one. If the website is using SHA-256, then when I run my own check, I want to use SHA 256 and compare those values. Compare apples to apples. If the website is using MD5 and I'm using SHA 256, our values aren't going to match. That's not going to give me accurate results. So whatever they're using on the website is the one that you want to use as well. And they'll typically tell you, hey, here's the SHA 256 hash value or checksum for this file. Make sure you check it. So how do we check it? Well, once you've downloaded the file, right, we would click on a link like this, and there are the values. And they're telling you, here's all the different files that we have. Here's all the checksums for those files. Now, I've already taken the liberty of downloading one of their files. And so on a Windows machine, our command is going to be git dash file hash, right? Git dash file hash is the commandlet we can use to generate those hash values. Now, this particular commandlet has a couple parameters. It needs to know what is it you're trying to run through the algorithm and what algorithm do you want to use, right? So the file I just downloaded is over, and I'm going to call this is the path, right? So dash path, E colon backslash downloads, backslash virtual box. So the path to the file that I want to check the sum of, all right? Space dash algorithm, and then the value for the algorithm that I want to use. Now, they give me a choice. I could either use SHA-256 or MD5. My pick. I'm going to choose SHA-256. All right, now when I hit enter, it's going to generate the hash value. This is the result of that mathematical calculation. Now I need to compare it to what they gave me on the website. So back over to their file. This is the one I downloaded right here, VirtualBox for Windows. So I'm going to grab this hash value, checksum, you can use those terms interchangeably, right? and I'm going to paste it right there. And now I need to compare those two and make sure they're the same. Right? And you can kind of see the first one starts with ED5796, 
the one I just pasted in there, ED5796, and we could keep going character by character comparing these. I typically look at the first few characters and the last few characters, and if those are the same, I feel pretty safe because normally when there's a change, the value changes to where you can easily see it's no longer the same. It's not gonna be just one little character change typically, all right? So usually you can just do a quick visual check and say, okay, those look the same, I'm probably good. Now that's not the best way to do it, right? Technically we should look at every single character and make sure they are the same and doing that with my old eyes can be challenging. That's a lot of characters there and that's a short algorithm. SHA 512 is twice as long, twice as many characters. So doing those character comparisons can be a little tedious for it to do manually. There are third party applications that you can use where you can grab the, the hash value from the, the website, paste it into a box, uh, run the little program, tell it what you're trying to check, and it kind of does the comparison for you. One of the cool things about this being a PowerShell command is that you can write your own program. You could write a little script to do the comparison for you, and I've done that. So let's take a look at how that works. All right, here's my script. Most of this script is the form itself, making it pretty, the buttons, things like that really the, the meat of the, the, the um, script, and let me zoom in so you can read this here, is right here. We're going to get the file hash for whatever file it is that you're, the one you just downloaded, right? So run that command that I just did manually. Ask the user to paste in a hash value of their own, right? The one you got from the website, and then do the comparison. If they equal each other, you can see right here, if one equals does not equal to the other, say they don't match. If they do, then say they match. Now this is not a programming class, right? We're not trying to learn how to script in, in five minutes, but I just want to, this file will be available for you. You can take it apart, dissect it, learn from it uh, if you want. Let's see how it works. So I named this com script compare-hash, I think. So I'm gonna run compare-hash, and for my little script, I need to tell it um, what algorithm, I need to paste in the value, I'm sorry, that I downloaded from the website. So dash hash is going to be that value that I copied from the website. I hit enter. I find the file that I want to compare this to. This is the one I downloaded. I click open, pick my algorithm, click OK, and there we go. It does the comparison for me if they match I get a message like this, the hash values match. If they didn't match, it would tell me in red, hey, the hash values don't match. So just a little way that you can automate the checking of that, that checksum, comparing it to uh, the value on, on, that's been posted on the website. So this is how you can use checksum to make sure that the files you're downloading from the internet are safe and have not been modified, either maliciously or accidentally.